hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I'm a Whovian and today I review Doctor Who Carnival of Monsters. So this is, uh, f well, from John Pertwee and in this one, uh, you know, in the previous story, uh, the Doctor finally gets back his travelling circuit so he can go anywhere in space and time again and him and Joe venture off and find themselves on a cargo ship in the 1920s in the Indian Ocean and then also uh, find that there's some monsters in another land and we also see from the far future this carnival guy with his assistants and he has this machine which shows different time zones and different monsters and the doctor and Joe find themselves trapped in it and they have to find a way out and you know yeah they come across a carnival of monsters like the story says so and that is the essential story now let's get on to my likes and dislikes so what did I like and what didn't I like well, I like John Pertwee playing the Doctor and Katie Banning playing Joe Grant. I love the side characters we got for this one. This even featured, what's his name, Ian Something, who played, who would later return to the show to play Harry Sullivan. Only he was in a different role in this one. And I was like, hey, that's Harry. And I'm, and I'm thinking he comes back in a few seasons later with... You know, becoming the fourth Doctor's first companion. Well, male companion, because he has Sarah Jean too. Anyways, um, yes, um, I liked that. I like the I like the effects they had. Now, the effects are very bland and probably haven't stood out throughout time. But the visuals that we saw in that at the time were pretty cleverly done. Like when the TARDIS was being taken by a big hand, you could clearly see that was green screen and a little model of the TARDIS there. So, um, but, and that was like very poor visuals there. But like I say, it was the early 70s. What was groundbreaking then is probably not stood up as well today or, bet or, or as received. But th I think they made that work at their time. I also liked uh, the uh, carnival machine that they were in. I mean, it was really like a clever sort of device they had. Especially the circus guy. I can't remember his name. His costume looked very odd. But then again, uh, him and his assistant were like circus entertainers from the far future. So I guess that's what they, they wear. Anyhow... Um, there is some monsters in this that look that are like serpent-like monsters. Now I can tell from a mile off they are sock puppets. You know, sock puppets that are clearly like as big as a hand and they do that. But they they again made it look like it was big visually. Um, but you know, they, they had a lot of visual effects in this one. Which, like I say, don't stand out today. But are kind of all right by the 70s you know i like that that they always challenge yourself to make good visual effects even though they don't hold up to this very day um but uh, but yeah that, that worked uh, this was also written by excuse me but when sorry there this uh, supposed to came uh, but, but yeah um yeah they it, it, it was it was all right um what else am I going to uh, mention? Um, yeah, uh, but it, it was an okay story. This was written by Robert Holmes. That's what I was. That's what I was going to say. Written by Robert Holmes. Well, of course, he's no stranger to the show. He's wrote a lot of great stories for the show in the past, like the Ice. Was it? Did he write the Ice Warriors? Uh, or was it? I know he's wrote in the, for the sixties. He's also wrote. He wrote some of the best ones like the Deadly Assassin, and <coughs> and many other classics that I can't put my finger on at the minute. But th this is one of his better ones, um, I think. Um, and yeah, the, the, the 
the digit well I can't I don't know if it is digital effects but those visual effects were all right but the practical effects they always do to their best abilities and make work such as the makeup effects and some of the creatures that were humanoids in this they made them work and stand out all right and that's just 70s science fiction there for you but uh, yeah I, I like some of the settings and uh, you know the performances and that so yeah it was it was a good one and I think they might have got a quite the budget for this one to do all these effects for it so um, ratings the visuals I will give them a six the performances I will give them an eight uh, the writing I'll give that an eight and my personal I'll give it a I'll give my personal rating an 8. So there you are. That's the Who review for this week. So have you seen this one? Let me know all that down in the comments below if you have. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. I have been Davros the Whovian and this has been a Who review. So until next time, live your life.